Hi, and thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features that Google has just recently released for Google Classroom. So if you're ready for back to school, you're gonna love these new features. Now, first and foremost, one of the biggest features that they've recently added is the ability to drag and drop your classes around and order them in the order that you want. Previously, as you created new classes, they were kept in a specific order, causing a lot of teachers a lot of frustration because if you created a class for first period, it automatically got bumped over to the right when you created second period and it put them in reverse order. Now, you can just simply drag and drop your classes around in the order that you want and that allows for greater freedom and I think it's just a great feature for them to add. Uh, the second thing that you're gonna notice is when you go into your classroom and you go to the students menu, Previously, the class code was just this small code here that you either had to use another tool to display really large on your screen or you had to write it on the board or simply just tell it to the kids. Now, when you click the drop down menu next to your class code, you're going to notice the ability to display and that puts your code nice, big and bright on your screen and you can even go full screen so it's much easier for your kids to see as they're self enrolling. Now. Uh, in addition to self-enrollment, you may remember that you can invite students to your class. One of the new features in the rollout is the ability to communicate with your student information system so that you can have classes automatically created and students automatically enrolled into your classes. So talk to your Google admin about that feature. I think you're going to like that one. Um, next, you'll also notice that either in the stream on assignments when you click into them or in the gradebook, you can now click on a student's name and see all of the grades that they've turned in for every assignment in one single view. And this is great because if you just want to see a running tab of what they've turned in, whether it's late or it's missing, uh, you can now see that just by clicking on their name from anywhere inside Google Classroom. And then finally, you'll also notice in the About menu, uh, where you previously had the ability to invite a teacher to be a co-teacher in your class. Once that teacher is now part of your class, you also have the ability to transfer ownership of that class over to that teacher. So if you teach in a situation where you've got a group of kids one semester and then they move to a different teacher the next semester and you're sharing the exact same class load, you can actually keep everything in one class, transfer ownership over to the other teacher at semester, and they can pick up where you left off. So that's a great tool great feature to have. In addition to this, you're also going to notice that when you are grading assignments in the gradebook, you have the ability to, to assign decimal grades. Uh, previously, you could only assign whole numbers to a grade. Now, knowing that some teachers may need the ability to add a decimal grade, uh, they've given us that ability now as well. And then finally, some features that you're not going to see right away, but that will be coming uh, later on, are features such as in a Google Forms quiz, you will now have the ability to import grades from that quiz into the Google Classroom gradebook so that you can return those grades to the students from inside Classroom. Great feature. And then you'll also have the ability to do question by question comments on Google Forms quizzes inside Classroom. So hopefully you get a chance to tackle Classroom and take a look at it and enjoy these new features before the school year starts. And hopefully there's something that are gonna help you out. I know I'm gonna like them. If you have questions about Google Classroom or Google Forms, uh, feel free to visit my blog at seanbeard.org or you can always visit me at techiecoach.com and we'll see you next time. <music>